Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Castle Perfect, once again bringing you a little tutorial on how to defeat the newly released 7 star raid OG starter Pokemon Venusaur within Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's get into it. So, this time around, we're dealing with a OG Pokemon Venusaur, and this one comes at level 100, has its hidden ability Chrono Field, which by the way doubles the speed of the Pokemon in the sun. It knows the moves Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and Amnesia. It has a three more additional moves, which are Sunny Day, Growth, Petal Blizzard, and um, those are three moves that Venusaur will be firing up before you can do anything about it. Its stereotyping will be set to ground, it holds the mightiest mark as per usual, and it is unavailable in its shiny form. So it doesn't matter how many times you reset for the 7-star raid boss, you will never be able to actually obtain it in its shiny form because it's simply not in the coding. Um, it is catchable, yes, of course, once per save file, so once you catch it, you won't be able to catch it again. And uh, it comes with its nature set to modest, which, by the way, maximizes its special attack, and uh, it becomes a great hitter. Now, um, it also has scripted actions, as I just mentioned. Um, it's going to set up the sun immediately. By uh, doing so, it's going to double its speed because of its hidden ability. Uh, not only that, but it's also going to use Growth, which is going to bring it to Stage 2 Special Attack. Ah, really tough. And, um, and finally, it's going to fire off a Metal uh, or a Petal Blizzard to deal as much damage as it possibly can before you can actually do anything about it. So that's what we're dealing with today. And uh, here is the counter. So in order to defeat the 7-star Raid boss, Venusaur, we are going to be using Chestnut, which apparently seems to be the best choice um, according to basically 99% of the internet, and that's what we're going to do as well. So level 100 Chestnut is also, by the way, a Pokemon that you probably already have in your boxes if you played the event when this one was the 7-star raid boss. The only difference to this one is that the original one that you get from the 7-star raids comes with its stereotyping set to rock instead of grass so you need to change that level 100 so you don't have to use any candies and um i highly advise you to give it the shell bell health item because that's going to give it a lot of sustainability it's going to allow you to live through a lot of the damage that venusaur is going to be able to do to you moving along it knows the moves seed bomb spiky shield mud slap and belly drum and the whole reason why it knows this move seed bomb is basically for the damage the spiky shield is going to be necessary to be used at least once in this battle to avoid getting super effective damage on us because apparently whenever Phenosaur sets uh sets up its shield it somehow allows it to hit you with the sludge bomb regardless of your hidden ability which is kind of strange but it works that way and it knows the moves mud slap because of the secondary effect of mud slap you see mud slap lowers the opposition's accuracy so by hitting Venusaur three times with Mud Slap allows us to have a pretty decent chance of avoiding whatever attack Venusaur is going to be dealing. And then we have Belly Drum at the end. So we're going to set up with Belly Drum once we're able to terrestrialize. And after that, it's just Seed Bomb away until we actually win. Now, its hidden ability Bulletproof, by the way, comes in handy because it protects the Pokemon from Ball and Bomb moves. And it's in the name, Sludge Bomb, which is a move that is stabbed and super powerful coming from Venusaur, that move won't be able to scratch us. So that's absolutely fantastic. Now keep in mind that this chestnut has careful nature. So that's the one that I chose. You can also choose Sassy, which increases the special defense and lowers the speed. But I was like, yeah, you know what? I actually kind of the careful nature more. So that's what I, that's that's what I gave it. Um, anyway, if we look at the EV spread, it's 252 on attack and 252 on special defense. Um, that way you'll be able to tank some moves and you'll be able to dish out as much damage as you possibly can. You obviously have about four or six EVs left and you want to pop that into HP to make sure that you have the most optimized EV spread you can actually have. Now that everything is out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the battle. 